a 28-year-old woman lies paralyzed in the ICU. The result, her family says, of a neck adjustment by a chiropractor. Caitlin Jensen was fun-loving and loved the outdoors. Her mom is devastated. She can communicate only by blinking. Um, she can nod now. She can also give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down on the left side. She cannot speak. She's just laying there. What is it like for you as a mom to see her like this? It's heartbreaking. If I could trade places with her, I would do it in a heartbeat. And she's got her whole life ahead of her. So it's just, it crushes me. Caitlin went to a local chiropractor in Savannah, Georgia for a stiff neck after studying for college exams. During her neck adjustment, her family says things started to go horribly wrong. Four arteries were ruptured. She suffered a stroke and cardiac arrest. I got a phone call from her phone, but it was actually the chiropractor. And he told me that she was having a reaction to the treatment and that they had called an ambulance. Do you blame the chiropractor? Blame is a strong word. And I, I mean, I feel bad for everyone in this entire situation. I mean, nobody, nobody wanted this. Caitlin's chiropractor, Dr. TJ Harpham, declined to discuss the incident, citing patient confidentiality. We found this video of him on a local TV show. Very fortunate to be a third generation chiropractor. Both my grandfather and my uncle were chiropractors, as well as uh, Shane and I's youngest brother, who is also a chiropractor. Chiropractor Dr. Robert Pomahawk, who did not treat Caitlin, says accidents like hers are very unusual. It's about one out of 100,000, so very, very uncommon. I've uh, probably given 300,000 adjustments in the 20 years of practice, and I've never had the situation occur. Caitlin's mom has this message for anyone thinking of going to a chiropractor. People should stop having neck adjustments. It's not worth the risk, period.